Okay, there we go. Had some audio setup issues. Alright, so... 15 minutes of 138. More specifically... 512 measures. Yeah, this was on an older version of uh, the Simply Love theme, and I didn't have any knowledge of how to set up all the sorts of measures and stuff like that on the screen at the time. As a matter of fact, this is a pretty old video that I recorded with OBS, you know, open broadcasting software, and OBS uh, is kind of jittery compared to my current recording setup, so it's not actually lagging or anything here, that's just... Well, I mean, I guess the recording is lagging, but the way when I'm playing it, it's not actually lagging. But anyway, hello everyone, and welcome to another stamina video. It is starting to cool off outside, but mm, I'm still going through the archives, and I'm like, mm, I'd, I'd, ra I'd rather commentate this than try and make something new when it's hot. So, <laughs> so that graph at the bottom of my corner there, um... Yes, that's a graph. It looks just more like a gradient. <laughs> because literally, absolutely no un I mean no break in the streams for 15 minutes at 138 beats per minute. So 9.2 steps per second for the entire Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. So this is uh probably a perfect time to talk about longevity in more ways than one like uh, not only just your stamina itself but also your timing because you're going at the same speed through the whole whole time it's pretty easy to waver especially when the, the songs themselves switch up a along the way like this, there's three songs in the Ocean Lab Mega Mix here. One is, I, I think they're called Miracle, Sirens hey. of the Sea, and On a Good Day. So, they're, they're all pretty good songs. But, as they're, you know, shifting off, you might start focusing on a different beat that's not actually being followed by the arrows. And that's one way that it can throw you off. First song so, is called Miracle, by the way. Yep. <laughs> the second is Sirens of the Sea, and then the third is uh, On a Good Day. I forgot I mentioned that in my post commentary, but yeah. <laughs> so, how do you keep yourself in sync uh, during those sorts of transition points? Well, you can kind of use the prior beats, like the, the parts that you've zeroed in on, to kind of get yourself to continue flowing into the new section and then feel out where those beats are matching up in the new song uh, compared to the older one. Like, before you're actually completely out of sync, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> because if you don't find the next series of beats that the arrows follow, you know, you're going to get off sync and you're going to start missing stuff. Or at least getting uh, greats, decents way off, maybe even a couple misses here and there, yeah. And uh, so, <laughs> that's, that's definitely a factor to consider when you are transitioning between songs on the quote-unquote same song. But, you know, this is a mega mix, so it's multiple songs in one. And you can hear in the beats that it's starting to transition over. So now it's going over to more of the deeper bass beats. Listen closely. Uh-huh. Yeah, those sorts of beats. So it, it transitioned from something else to there, but it's still staying at the exact same BPM. So it's like, you know, I'm kind of kind of trying to zero in on this. Kind of missing a bunch during this period, but I'm getting it, I'm getting it, and yeah, I, I kind of got it, so <laughs> you know what I mean. And uh, that's part of the whole longevity thing when you're trying to stay on beat throughout. Even even when it's, it's not actually changing a beat, 
you know, the, the, the speed or anything like that. It can be a little bit off-putting when the song itself changes. So, you gotta kind of kind of adjust, well not, I shouldn't say adjust for it, you, you shouldn't be adjusting for the BPM, but I mean, you're adjusting your hearing to find the next beat that the arrows are following so that you can actually follow them. And also, you gotta focus on, well, stamina for something like this as well. <laughs> I mean, it's 15 minutes of 138 beats per minute. I mean, sure, 138 isn't all that fast in hindsight when you compare it to other stamina songs, but for 15 minutes, and <laughs> you know, it's just kind of wears on you over time. Um, this this was, as I said, an older video too, so I wasn't as good as I am now, but this is a pretty good indicator of trying to keep yourself focused throughout and whatnot and the, the stamina. Like I'm, like, I'm still stepping harder than I am nowadays at this point, as you could probably hear by the stepping. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that's, that's another thing, is that on these these sorts of longer songs that you could just zero in on a BPM, this is actually probably a very good thing to find your technique because, you know, you get kind of used to a BPM, but if you're still stepping at the same force, you're going to find yourself tiring easier. So if you, if you were to get comfortable with that BPM along the way, you could probably find a way to lessen your stomping pressure and while still zeroing in on the beats of the song. You know, because you're already used to that speed, so you don't feel like you're as tense, so you have to use nearly as much force to continually feel the beat. Because I, I found that, that when I have trouble sinking on something, if I stomp harder, I can have an easier time sinking on it, but the thing about that is you use more energy. So I may stomp harder at a certain point, and then kind of balance it out by getting softer and softer as I go. I don't really do that much here, because as I said, this is an older video and I'm not really... <laughs> I'm not up to my current skill level, but this is a... I, I still think this is a perfect video discussion point as to how to maintain yourself. So I thought, eh, hey, yeah, let's just talk about it over this. <laughs> the other thing is, I'm not sure if I want to play this again. I mean, yeah, the songs are good, but there's not much variety to the steps, you know what I mean? So it's not the most engaging song to play. <laughs> so this, this might be the best score I'll ever get on it, for all I know. I might, I might feel up to playing it in the future and I'll probably get like 95 and 97 or something like that because it's such a low BPM, although I might be uh, overestimating my skills and yeah <laughs> so, might be worse than I thought in the long run who knows so I might I might get the urge to replay this but for now I'm focusing on uh, on other sorts of songs in the meantime but anyway so we're still in just the second song of this because it is long but as you can see I'm zeroing in on it pretty decently now as you'll notice by my combo is staying pretty steady I'm gonna hit the 1,000 mark pretty soon here, so yeah, that's what I mean about once you zero in on a BPM, you can just kind of hold it steady. Uh, I do find it's it, it's weird. It's it's harder to hold onto your sync if you're drilling the same two arrows, like say up, down, or left, right. I don't know, I'm not sure why that is. I think it's because I'm not using heel toe and I have to use more lifting of the feet, so to speak. You, you know, when you're just drilling two notes as opposed to having to shift your feet all over the place. It's, it's a very weird thing because you'd think that the arrows being scattered all over the place would yield a lot more stumbling and desync, but not really. <laughs> I mean, there are certain factors, such as candles, where if you have to move one foot from the up arrow to the down arrow, or vice versa, or in crossover fashion, where it's right to left or left to right, 
it, because the, the distance that you travel is further, that can throw off your timing, which is another sort of skill to get the hang of by just uh, repeatedly playing songs that have such patterns that you can feel the distance between that and the speed that you'll need to move between that in order to actually cont continue with your combo and the like. Because the, the distance that you travel between the arrows is a definite factor in how you manage your timing in things. Uh, but at the same time, when you're drilling too many of the same notes at once, like I said before, it, 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 it's also kind of weird to stay in sync. So there's two sorts of odd conflicts that are going on here. <laughs> I think it's because the, the transitions between the two are different. Like when you're scattering the arrows from place to place, your, your body sort of gets used to that sort of pattern. But then when you go into a drill formation where you're just hitting the same two notes over and over and over, uh, that, that's a different sort of feel. And that's another factor to the longevity discussion that I, I'm trying to explain here in that it's it's all different skills going on with the different patterns here it, it, it like it doesn't look like that i'm having that much movement between between stuff here but yeah there is most certainly some you know this is just a, it only has to be a little bit different for you to get off sync because the timing windows are very tight for things and as you'll notice here as the song is transitioning to the final song that I am getting a little bit off sync on my timing. See that the dips again on uh, on the graph there. Well, if you want to call it a graph, it's the gradient. <laughs> but as I started to zone in on it again, you'll you'll see I get my combo back up to snuff again. So it's just those transitions between songs just throwing me off just that little bit to to not feel out where the beats are and where the timing windows are. And because it's so tiny, <laughs> you, you just, it's easy to underestimate, I guess you could say. And by the way, this is my favorite song of the three, by the way. I just said by the way twice, and then a third time after that. But details! <laughs> yeah, On A Good Day is a really nice song, and you can play the, the full song and other uh, parts of the stamina packs that I have, but... This is the Ocean Lab Mega Mix version, which is melded into the other two, so it's not not quite the full. Uh, the full, I think, is like seven minutes or something like that, but it's still phenomenal whenever you hear it. That's, that's what I meant about that all these songs are good, so it makes you want to play it, but the steps are so steady and not that much variety throughout that that doesn't make me want to play it too much. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd rather play the songs individually. <laughs> oh, and uh, since my technique wasn't up to snuff, I am a lot more tired than I would be on these sorts of marathon uh, song dealios. I was gonna say course, but no, this is just technically a single song. A course is in a different sort of mode. But it does feel like a course because, you know, there's multiple songs in one, only you don't have the breaks and transitions between the songs in that, and that's, that's where the stamina dealio comes into play here. And thus, we just keep stepping. There's no breaks, there's no water breaks, no wiping sweat. Well, I mean, I guess you could wipe sweat, and maybe you could grab water if you're able to play with one hand on the bar or something like that, but I wasn't that confident at this moment in time, so I lean back on the bar like a madman, and you might do that at first as well, but try and to keep your body more vertical, I would say, more than anything. As I, I found that keeping your body as vertical as possible reduces your stamina uh, output I mean, because... Tired, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because of the... Uh, you don't have to lift your feet up with your knees, so to speak. It's just kind of just like a little bit of a lift or a slide yeah. as opposed to that, so yeah. And as I am, I am indeed getting tired at this point, so that's why I'm getting off sync as I explain. But it was mostly the transition points between songs that I had the most trouble with, as you can see by the mo uh, most of the dips 
in the bar, uh, in the graph sale. Like, I'm even resyncing at the end here, despite said tiredness. So, yeah, I think at this point I was feeling my technique for the BPM, but not, not, not as, not as good as I would prefer. <laughs> you know, compared to my modern standards for myself, I guess you could say. Not that I didn't have control throughout, it just, fatigue started showing a little there. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed, too.